Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. Uh, so I've been asked in comments, how is the job market for IT right now? Specifically for software engineers and for QA engineers, uh, are there jobs available? Is it hard to find a job? How many positions are out there uh, right now? So let's take a look. So this is actually data. I'm gonna just show data from Glassdoor and LinkedIn on the jobs available um, in the United States. It's limited to those uh, resources, but still I think it gives a pretty good picture. Uh, obviously this is not the whole amount of jobs. There are other places, other resources that, you know, don't post on LinkedIn or Glassdoor and uh, find other ways to recruit people. But I think it's just a very good visual of what actually is going on right now. So let's take a look at the software engineer first. For the software engineer right now in the United States, uh, we have about 70,000 open positions. Uh, this is all time that are open and available right now. Uh, we can uh, update this to be, let's say we will be looking only within the last months. So like a reasonable amount of time since the job is posted. Uh, so the 76,000 was in the last months. Another trend that people prefer right now for you know work uh, IT is to work from home. So let's choose that criteria as well. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you're in the States, you can apply and work from home. So, okay. So we're gonna have work from home. Uh, this brings it to 11, almost 12,000 jobs uh, for software engineer in the past months that are still open. And you can work anywhere in the United States uh, on those jobs, right? One other thing that is really cool is uh, easy apply. It cuts down, you know, the needless fill out application forms. You just apply with your profile, Glassdoor or LinkedIn or any other profile. So I'm going to put that in as well. So it saves ton of time in the job application process. So still 7,000 jobs where you can just click and apply, click and apply, click and apply, click and apply, click and apply. They're all available. So this is for um software engineer position in glassdoor now glassdoor is a great resource but it's not as popular uh, for, for like professional networking like linkedin for example um, there's no even such capability here it's it serves other purpose it's more into look about the company read about the company um, see the salaries and the review process and so on so let's check uh linkedin for the same thing so for the software engineer jobs in the united states there's almost well, 350,000 jobs right now. Okay, so let's give it also past months. Okay, that brings it down to 250,000 jobs that are available. Um, let's set remote so you can work from home. 70,000, 75,000 jobs um, available in the state, in the United States right now. Okay, let's put easy apply so you can apply with one click. So almost 16,000 jobs uh, as for software developers. I can't, I mean, I think that's a, that's a significant amount and you can spend days uh, applying to all of those jobs and the more new jobs are gonna appear, probably you won't be able to apply for all of them unless like you automate it. Um, okay, now let's take a look at the QA engineer. So the QA engineer numbers, they're a little lower, uh, definitely lower than software developers, uh, the ratio is maybe one to three in the United States. So the average amount of QA engineers per software engineers is about one QA engineer uh, to three software engineers. So that's like a national average, right? Uh, every place though, it's gonna be different. Uh, if you go to like place to place, you'll see different ratios. Okay, so same thing. So posted, so this is the total amount, 12,000 12, jobs in, on Glassdoor for a Q engineer. Uh, if we're gonna look at, if we're gonna look at the last months, so we have 6,000 jobs available for Q engineers. Now let's, uh, let's add work from home, 700 jobs available, and then let's put easy apply on. So 390 jobs available within the last months for QA engineers. 
uh, not as significant as developers, but this is again just the glass door. So uh, if we move from glass door to LinkedIn, uh, let's take a look here. So almost 200,000 jobs actually right now for quality assurance in the United States. Uh, if we update to the past months, so 125,000, pretty significant amount that are available. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get remote only. Okay, we're, we're, we're going like a lot less. So it's 15,000, still a pretty good amount. Uh, the thing with QA jobs, a lot of QA jobs may be really hands-on. So you have to work with devices, move them around, put them on, it could be wearable devices. Uh, or some medical device that you have to operate in order to test them. So this is why it's harder to have a quality assurance job that is remote. Uh, and it's a lot easier to have an on-site QA job because you, you might work with the inventory that you test all the time. Uh, and for that, if you work in lab settings, you have to be on site. Obviously, if you automate web pages or apps, you can do it from home, right? Uh, okay, and the last filter here is easy apply. So still, I mean, in the last months, there are 2,500 jobs that you can just click and apply, click and apply, click and apply and submit your resume. So overall, I think uh, there are plenty of jobs. There are plenty of jobs that are on site based on the region where you at, but there are also a lot of jobs that are remote. Uh, a bit more for software engineers, right? If you think about easy apply and remote, but if we remove easy apply, just keep remote. Well, still the ratio, the ratio is one to seven, maybe one to six right now. I think we can, we can get closer with one to three. We remove remote. Yeah. Then we get around, well, now we get one to two. So for every two software developers, they're one Q engineer. But average nat national average, uh, the last time I checked was one to three. So I think if you meet it somewhere in the middle between remote jobs and uh, on-site jobs, you might get that one to three ratio here. So this is based on just two resources, right? Glassdoor and LinkedIn. Uh, definitely there are jobs that you don't see here. So those jobs, maybe you're going to search, if you're going to search through company websites and go through careers, they didn't submit anywhere. It's just going to be uh, on their page and they have an internal recruiter who is looking for candidates. Uh, there are other places that have job postings for IT, not only those two web pages. So you have uh, Indeed, uh, you can actually do Google job search as well to find uh, jobs in your area in Google. Um, what else is there? You have Dice. Uh, but yeah, but I think LinkedIn is is one of the most popular right now. So it's a pretty good indicator. There are a lot of jobs that are available. Uh, so if you're thinking about going into QA field, or if you're thinking about going into software development field, uh, or in IT, IT field in general, and you're worried about you know the the recession or economics, and thinking that there are no jobs, actually, I don't think that's true. There are plenty of jobs. And if you actually think about this, it makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, there's so many products on the market that require continuous support, testing, and development that are used daily. So if you stop doing this, if you stop competing, so if if you stop developing or you stop testing for the product that's on the market, you're going to lose the market share because competitors are going to have something better. So you can't stop that. So all the products that on the market that have ongoing development will require ongoing support and development and testing. Uh, that's one thing. Other thing is you have tons and tons of product that's still in development and not on the market. Uh, so at some point they will be on the market, but they have to have developers and testers right now already not being on the market still. So once they join the market, they're still going to keep the testing. They're still going to keep the development. So I think um, it's really hard to imagine scenario where we will have no need for QA engineers or developers uh, anytime soon, because anything that has code essentially has to be tested um, has to, and has to be maintained. And yeah, so 
it's it's just gonna it's gonna be here to stay. It's not gonna be uh, like dot com bubble, right? Uh, I think there's there's we're way past that. Those the development jobs and QA jobs are essentially uh, becoming mainstream jobs that are required because every industry you look at will have some sort of a software application or web page or some hardware software mix that they have in their industry that requires engineering effort to support it uh, or to you know develop it further okay so i believe we are pretty safe uh, in terms of uh, jobs in the united states for software and qa engineers okay so this was alex usa days thanks for watching and bye bye